Salome, everybody. My name's Terrifiger, and welcome back to Slender the Arrival. Now, the only reason I'm going through this again, or at the moment, is that there has been a Halloween update to the map. The map. The game. I don't know what, like, my words are getting slurred because I'm just so excited. I mean, there's a, been a Halloween update to the game, and so, like, a whole bunch of stuff has been patched and fixed, and also, there are now pumpkins to collect. 30 pumpkins in total throughout all the levels. Not 30 pumpkins in every level, but like spread out throughout the game. If I find all of them, then a new cosmetic choice for Slenderman will be unlockable and toggleable in the options menu for the main menu. And it'll be, it's it's called Slenderman's Halloween costume. It, it hasn't been shown or said what it is, so I, I'm guessing it's like a surprise. But I'm eager to try it out. And also, because that that my other hardcore mode got screwed up... I tried to record hardcore mode before, and then the recording got screwed up so I couldn't upload it. I'm gonna be playing this in hardcore mode. So, let's do this. And now that I'm on my brand new computer, it's not brand new by now, I've had it for like about a week or over a week, I'd say. Okay, but let's let's do this. I got I got to remember to crank up the sensitivity of the mouse because the sensitivity isn't I, I there isn't the sensitivity option in in the in the options for the mouse, which is a little strange, but whatever. At least my 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 gaming mouse here is able I'm able to adjust the sensitivity of my computer. So yeah, there's pumpkins to find. They they though the one that they showed as an example was in the eight pages level. There's like a pumpkin just sitting in the middle of the path and I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna see if I can get every single pumpkin in this playthrough and if I can't then I'll probably run through it like on my own to, 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 and then get any pumpkins that I missed I provided that this that this update doesn't like vanish before I can get all the pumpkins I'm guessing that it'll go away once November rolls around but I've seen what the pumpkins look like thanks to a gift that would that was used to show an example and the pumpkins are small they're kind of like the size of volleyballs and when you hover your cursor over them then a prompt does come up for like yeah you can pick this up so like i'm gonna keep an eye out for that i'm just sticking to the main path because i don't think they put any off the beaten path and i haven't been seeing any they're they're kind of obvious too they're like they're, they're like bright orange of course but they, but they also did show a screenshot at the front of Kate's house and shows that there's decorations there, Halloween decorations. And can you see how much smoother this is now? I'm not playing on on that crappy laptop anymore. A crappy laptop. I mean, it is a good laptop, but it's like it's not as good as this. Okay, so I don't know how many pumpkins there are, there's going to be in each level, but I'm just going to I guess keep a tally mark. I've got pencil and paper. I can keep track of how many pumpkins I've picked up. So, yeah, let's take a general look around, and I, oh, oh ho, look at this, the decorations. Oh, that's nice. That is nice, okay, um, yeah, just, just, just making sure to take a look around, because I don't know if any of these pumpkins are going to be pickupable, but I'm not seeing any prompts to actually snag them. And there were things that I had mentioned in my hardcore playthrough that I didn't mention di like f f that I didn't mention in my normal playthrough. Oh, there's one, there's one, and it even flashes. Faceless pumpkin. Wrapped I am, but not a gift. In a bun so soft and swift. And there's even little poems to go along with it. That was delightful. That was fun. Okay. So, it's good to know that they actually have like like a little glossy shine over them as well. <sighs> All right, so I'll make it finding them a little easier, but let's actually go into the house because who knows how many are going to be in the house. Uh, and, and when I was also playing through in my initial, oh really? The encoding's overloaded now. Now I'm getting meant. I'm getting told that like the the encoding's getting overloaded. I I don't know why. My game's starting to lag, I can't tell. L look at this, there's even a skull on the plate, too. I love it. There we go, got the flashlight finally, so I can look in the darker corners and crevices for flash, not flashlights, for pumpkins. 
Is it just me, or does the quality of the game itself seem to be kind of shoddy around the edges? I don't know if that's something that came out with this Halloween update, but the edges of everything look to be blurry or like a lower quality. And I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if that's just the flashlight or something. I know that when I was re recording this on, on the laptop, the quality got kind of messed up. But in here, like... But in here, it's not the recording software that's kind of, like, messing it up. It's... Ah, got it. From a ballpark, I might hail. In kids' hands, I'm a t tasty treat. Four pumpkins remain in this level. Oh, thank you. And now they actually... Uh, I actually thought that, like, Slenderman was about to just attack me there. So if four pumpkins remain in this level, then thank you. That, that'll allow me to keep better track. Just gotta start... Oh, there's another one. Ah, thank you. An American favorite, some say, on picnics and ball games. I lay. All right, is there gonna be like a little, a little blurb of a pumpkin for like every single thing? There's a pumpkin in this room too, isn't there? Um, no, there isn't. There's just a page. See, I don't know why the quality is like kind of blurry. It, it, it was. It ended up being like that because of OBS Studio before, but like now it's just like that by default in here. And I have no idea why, but I am not chalking it up to the recording software or anything. I'm guessing that the reason that the quality got like this was because of was because of the Halloween update that came out. And the encoding's not getting overloaded now, thankfully. I know that in the past whenever the encoding gets overloaded it causes the game to lag, and I didn't and, and that wouldn't really make me a happy camper because the game already lagged when I was playing in on the, the laptop. So, I mean, I don't want that now. It's good that they keep a little tally for how many pumpkins there are, and they're not, like, often in hard-to-find locations. So, now there are three... three more pumpkins to find. I'm guessing there's gonna be one or two in the Matheson house. And then probably one that's, like, around this site. So yeah, why everything looks kind of blurry and a little bit more low quality than before. Same textures, but at a lower quality. I'm guessing that that's supposed to be an actual effect of the camera. And not, and not really an effect. Or... It's either an effect of the camera or it's a bug that, that occurred with all, when all the other stuff got fixed. Or with the Slender, the Arrival, Halloween update coming out. Okay, so so far there's no pumpkins. I, I hope that, like, if I die in a level, then the pumpkins don't vanish. In the sense that, like, I have to go and pick them up again and they and they aren't in my tally. I thought I saw something flash here again. That's also something that I saw in my, in my uh, first hardcore playthrough that got messed up. I really like how when you look at Slenderman, your entire v vision of the camera doesn't get messed up. It like glitch. It, it glitches for sure, but it, but it doesn't like go crazy. And it glitch. And it slowly, gradually glitches more and more the more you look at him. And but when you take a first look at him, the only thing that's warping in the environment is Slenderman himself. But everything else is, it looks regular. So it allows you to see him more clearly, more clearly. And I do like that. All right, pumpkin. I got you. Between two pillows I rest, but to sleep is not my quest. Good. Two pumpkins. So, like, every two pumpkins, it'll then... Every two pumpkins I collect, it'll tell me how many are left. And also another thing that I said in my hardcore playthrough is that the flashlight's battery... Oh, I saw him up there! That's cool. The flashlight's battery seems to last longer in here than it, than it did in the Unity version. I, I was, like, I still made sure to, like, conserve my flashlight by turning it off and stuff, but I don't even think there was ever an instance where my flashlight was actually getting dim. So, I mean, that's cool. Well, there's a pumpkin right there, and then I'm imagining that if the final pumpkin is not in this house, then it's over there, like, in that entrance building to Oakside Park. That's what I imagine. In a summer field I shine, with ketchup and mustard and lime. Oh, in a summer feast, not a summer field. Sorry about that. But yes, I am going to make sure to scan this 
Thank you. I absolutely wanted to see that picture flash on my screen. Did I get this? Oh yeah, I got this. It was, it was redone. The, the actual look of it was, of the page was redone from the Unity version. Yes, I know. This, this is Charlie's family's house. I saw in the beginning of the nightmare level that those very pictures were on Charles Matheson's wall. Do, 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 do. Is my flashlight getting any dimmer? I still can't tell. I still can't tell if my flashlight is getting any dimmer. Maybe it is. Maybe it's only like a tiny bit dimmer. But, um, not that much dimmer. I would have had to, like, conserve my flashlight a lot more. Okay, look around very slowly and carefully. Don't want to miss any pumpkins. Okay, there's there's no pumpkin in here. There's one more pumpkin that I missed, so I'm not going to pick up this thing just yet. I... Thank you. That that's something that I completely forgot was in the hardcore mode. They they included these little the, these little demonic choruses right here. Which I don't know why. I don't know what purpose they serve. I don't know. They they seem to they seem to only show up once like Slenderman was around. So anyways, yeah. I did miss a pumpkin, and my best guess is that it's either somewhere in one of these construction sites and I missed it, or it's somewhere inside the Matheson house instead of being only outside of it. I'll skip ahead to when I find the, the, the next pumpkin, actually. Okay, you know what? I went around the entire place combing for the pumpkin and I could not find it anywhere so I didn't get all the pumpkins in this level I'm missing one and I don't know where it is and my flashlight also died D like I wandered around for so long that my flashlight died and even in this darkness I can't even see like the gloss of the pumpkin uh because you know when you go up to an item that's interactable, then it, there's like a white thing that glosses over it every couple of seconds. There, There's nothing like that for a pumpkin anywhere. So I'm just gonna collect this and then just continue on. So I guess I'm not going to be able to unlock him, but I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can. I'll sit, find, I'll see if I can find like as many pumpkins as I can still. So I know that like they had the, the pump, the, that there was like a pumpkin just like on, on the path randomly. Like right here, here we go. This was actually the one that was shown in the GIF. Okay. So also when I played through the, the, um, this level here, I, I tried to do it like I, like in hardcore mode on my, recording that got scrapped i tried to do it in the same style as i did my normal mode playthrough which was just grabbing them as i go but i'm actually not going to do that because it didn't end up working for me what i ended up doing was i went all around the park and found all the locations that have pages and then i set about a route of collecting them all the pumpkin zone collecting those right away grilled or boiled may i be a delicious mystery you see Six of, yeah, six of thirty. There were supposed there were six in the previous level too, and I never ended up getting it. So oh well. But at least there's only two more to be found here. Okay, so the bell, the, the, not the bell tower, but is that the bell tower? The watch? That, that's the watchtower. That had that had a page. This has a page as well. Don't know if there's a pumpkin anywhere here, but there is a page, so that's good. And this also has a page and a pumpkin. Encased in warmth I reside, a savory secret I hide. Seven of thirty faceless pumpkins. One more remain in this level. Okay. Okay, is that another one way up? No, it's not. I saw I saw this this lantern. I thought that like way over there on the hill there was a pumpkin. But no, here's a final pumpkin. Got it. An immobile vendor's cart. My aroma cannot smart. Okay. So Yeah, I found how many pages did I find? I found one here, one on the tank, one on the tank, one on the tank. Da, da, da. I think I've found about five or six pages so far. Is there, is, is there a page here? I know I know that when I was going on my hardcore playthrough, I did have trouble finding a page on here for some reason. It wasn't in a very in a very noticeable spot. And here, it thankfully, is. I'm just gonna start grabbing them all. I'm just gonna start grabbing them all. And now I'm going to set off on finding the... Oh my 
my gosh. They changed this. Before, when I did the hardcore playthrough, it was dark, but it wasn't, like, so dark that I couldn't see where I was going. Before, it, it used to be, like, pitch black when I did the Unity version. In hard, but, like, now they've, they, they, they've darkened it. They purposefully made it darker. So unless there's, like, direct moonlight, like, right here, you pretty much can't even tell where you're going. Okay, here's there's one here. Is there one here? Yes. Got it. Okay. So, I got the three pumpkins of this level. Hopefully, they, they stay with me and I don't have to, like, recollect them. Where? Oh, is he up there? I want to go over here, dude. Just to get that page and then I'm on my way. I didn't even see him. And the quality absolutely sucks for some reason. Okay, turn off my flashlight, conserve it for a bit because I can see where I'm going here. Where? I don't see him. You're acting really weird, Slenderman. Where? Is he behind me? I don't know where he is. He's somewhere in that direction, though. And my thing is, like, glitching for no reason. I don't know. He's acting weird. Maybe Slenderman doesn't like it if I have my flashlight off for too long. But I need to conserve it. Okay, and there's a page over here. I didn't check the building yet. No, I'm not going over there, Slenderman. I already got what I needed over there. Did I? There was a page on there, but I don't know if I actually got it or not. I actually don't think I did, so I ought to go back for that. But if Slenderman's lurking about there, how am I going to? I guess I'm just going to have to do my best. But he's probably going to end up killing me. I, I remember that um, when I got the third page, he ended up spawning directly behind me and killing me. In my playthrough, that got scrapped. But here, that was not the case. I think I actually got even... Jeez, that startled me. Where? Where? I don't see him. Wasn't there a page, like, on this thing right here? There was a page here. Did I already pick it up? Because I don't think that I did. Or maybe I did, actually. Yeah, I think I did. I think it was actually the very first page I picked up, so I shouldn't be looking around there. Okay. Yeah, sorry about getting startled there. I, I got startled... Where? Oh, he's over there! Okay, I see him now. No, I, I was more startled by the noise. I didn't actually see anything pop up, but, like, the noise had startled me because, like, it was just so out of left field. Okay, let's just get some distance. Okay, there's one on here, too. Yes. No. Why not? Okay, that one, that one doesn't have a page. That's okay, though, it doesn't need to have a page. Oh my gosh. Slenderman, could you piss off? Oh my gosh. Even if he's way off to the side, it glitches as if he's right in front of me. That is annoying, actually. Okay, but that place that you're guarding, I know there's a page in there, and I gotta go grab it. It's like on the outer edge of somewhere. It's like around, uh, where is it? It's around somewhere. There it is. Got it. Okay. Oh, and then, and then there's one on the, uh, on the tent. And then also one in, uh, on the watchtower. So those are our last two pages and then I'm done. Maybe I'll be able to get through this without even dying to Slenderman. My flashlight's doing well. I could definitely see my flashlight getting dimmer. And in the Unity version, if I focused my flashlight, then it would help to brighten the flashlight up again. In this Unreal Remake, it does not help. It stays dim. And if I focus my flashlight, I think that the batteries actually run down faster. Here we go. Okay, there's one page there, and then over there, the watchtower is there, and that's where the final page is. Right there. Okay. So I get this one, and then I'm just going to make a, a mad break for it. Because the last one is up here, and that's it. Right there. Right there. And I 
got it. Woo, okay. Excellent work. There he is. Let's see him. Oh, that was cool. Do 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 do. Okay. Just gotta pick a direction to go. Don't don't run right into him because that's counterproductive. Hell yes. We did it, guys. And in this one here, in, into the abyss, my gosh, I don't know how many pumpkins there's going to be in this level, but I'm, there's bound to be a lot. I swear, if I end up, like, getting all the pumpkins in this playthrough, except for that one that I missed in the prologue, I'm going to be so freaking annoyed, and I'm going to want to run through it again just to make sure I get it. But then, wait, if I try to run through the game again, if I try to start a new game, will all the pumpkins have reappeared in their places? I'm going to have to recollect them all? Oh god, I hope not. Uh, all right, whatever. Let's let's just let's just go and and try to get them. So I'm going to go to every single actual physical location like this thing and I'm going to look around and see if there's a pumpkin anywhere around here. Probably all the pumpkins in this level are going to be in the common mines. I don't even think there's going to be any sitting outside of the common mines, but I'll still take a look around just in case. Uh huh. Uh -huh. There's a there's like another tiny shed over there, but I don't think there's a pumpkin around there, so I'm not gonna bother looking there. So it's just like I thought. All the pumpkins in this level are in the common mines. It kind of reminds me about how like in in uh, Markiplier's um, Steam update of Slender: The Arrival playthrough that that he made years and years ago, back when it was still Unity version, he was finding candy canes around this around this place around this place, or around the game. He was finding, like, a candy cane in this level, a candy cane in the flashback level, a candy cane in the arrival. Like, he was finding them, and and they weren't interactable. They were just kind of there. And he was wondering why there, there were candy canes, and I myself was wondering, too. Oh, right, this thing. I forgot that this happens. You are making me go really slowly. So let's look around here. There's probably going to be one pumpkin sitting around here, right? Just going to collect the interactables just so that, like, because because they have like gl white glossing over them too, and just so they don't confuse me. Got it. Paired with fries, a delight in your hands. I ignite. Cool. All right. So I was correct that there. Oh wait a second! It, it it just gave me a prompt that showed how many pumpkins there there were left, and I didn't I didn't see it. And I also forgot to mention that in here, yes, there are gas canisters, and the gas canisters look like this. They aren't red and stand out in the environment, but they do gloss, thankfully. There we go. And they also don't have an echo effect on them, which is more than a little strange. Okay. I know if I turn off my flashlight, it's like pitch black, but thankfully this is giving me some light. And I can see a pumpkin glossing over here. Meaty, but not quite a steak. In a special shape, I bake. Two pumpkins! Only two? I thought there were going to be like eight in this level, but no, there's only four. Alright, well there's a canister, and there's a generator. Perfect. In my failed attempt at, the, at this level, I only died once. And, and that, oddly enough, I believe was to Kate the Chaser. She jumped me enough times and killed me. Let's turn off the flashlight. Ah, oh, there's, there she is. I just having my flashlight off because, because, look, I can still see where I'm going. Oh, but there's Kate already. Got it. You screw off. She seems to stay stunned for longer, too. Thanks. I just wanted to activate this and then I would be on my way. Oh, she was chasing me again. Okay. Okay, where's the last pumpkin? Nope. Screw off. Dang it. Okay. I'm going to go over here because I want to see... Okay, those are the last three generators. Okay, so, yeah, she just doesn't seem to register me. Like, before she would walk up here and then just stand there, but here, no, she registered- Whoa! Who said you could just jump up to my level? 
Okay, I'm glad I got that on video because I don't think you would guys would have believed me if that happened, but last time when I played through, she just stayed down there when I was up there, and I had to back away so she was out of my view, and then she walked off. And here she actually jumped up to my level. Who the hell said you could do that? But the pumpkin is no longer here, which means that it is saved. So good. Oh yeah, and I also remembered that, that, that like, I remember now. I think, I think there, yeah, there's a gas cancer over there. But I remember that when I played through this and beat it, I actually did go, I didn't, I actually, like, after I activated the first generator, I went around and I collected all the gas canisters, and then I set around activating the generators. So I'm going to do that now. So I got a gas canister, so I need four more. And I got to look around for four more gas canisters. There is not one here anymore. That was a shame. All the generators seem to be clustered around this area, too. And while I'm here and while I'm safe, I can take this time to look around for a pumpkin. Oh, there's one. In contests, I'm often eaten, where records are often beaten. Cool. Alright, so I imagine that there isn't one in here. And I was right. I was talking about a pumpkin, by the way. I was imagining a pumpkin wouldn't be up there. So I've got one gas canister. I still need... I still need four more. There's one. There's, there's, there's a gas canister. Good. So I need three more. Oh, and there's the last pumpkin. Got you. Long and slender I appear, dressed up, bringing cheer. These poems don't always have good pacing to them, but it's okay. Okay, there we go. Now I need two more. I think I found all the locations for the generators, too, but I just need... Oh, okay, just need one more now. See, this strategy works. Getting all the gas canisters first before I'm in any danger whatsoever. It works. But, like, around here is another place where a gas canister can be. I got all the canisters. Perfect. And there's a thing right there. Is there also a thing in here? No. But let's go ahead and activate this. Okay. Okay. Now that I got all the canisters, I should be able to do this lickety split. This level is extra stressful it, in the Unreal Remake. Partly because I'm not as fast as I used to be. Got one there. I, I wonder if, like, she all of a sudden started running. I wonder if, like, when a gas can- a gas canister. When a generator gets activated, she gets alerted to the location. Of, of, of that generator. I wonder, because now it sounds like she's. I'm gonna intersect with her right here. Oh, hi! Okay, um, never mind. You're right down here, I know you are. Are you still down there? Come on, man! Oh. Is she behind me? I'm not getting the prompt nor the alert music, so I don't know. Oh, she sees me now! Is she faster, too? I don't know if her speed increases judging... judging by the amount of... Uh, of generators that are active. I have no idea if that's the way she works. But it's A-way. certainly is A-way. Whoa! She's, like, right down there. Okay, uh... Oh, ha! Well... Thanks! Thanks a lot for that after all my prep. But it is good to see that he has his animations of, like, a reach out and grab you. Okay. So now I gotta go and I gotta grab everything again. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh, and right here. Okay, that's the last gas canister. I didn't know that it... I thought I heard footsteps from me strafing. I thought it was Kate. I didn't know that, it, like, a gas canister could just be right out here in the hall, but apparently it can. Alright, here we go. Just gonna interact, interact with this one. Okay, then we're gonna back backtrack? No, we're gonna go this way. Because there's not a generator... Yes, there is a generator here. You screw off! I don't know how you got the jump on me last time, but you screw up. No, Slender Man. Go away. Oh, but check out what can happen here. You can walk up to me. 
Then I go here. And then you can't do anything. Look at that. What's that? Only one generator left. Is it over here? I can't remember the last one. Is. Yeah, there it is. Okay, good. I got all of them. <laughs> Alright, Kate, I'm out of here. I even heard her footsteps fading away. Which means that she lost my trail. I just gotta hope Slenderman doesn't go right in front of me again. My, my heart is actually pounding extremely hard. The adrenaline is insane. No, you don't. No, you don't. Wait, where am I? Oh, I'm right here. Okay, good. I got it! You're not gonna, you're not gonna like, try to, like, jump up to my level again, are you? I don't know how she did that before. She got some... and She did not skip leg day. She got some incredible leg work done to be able to jump up from down there up to there. Who knew that she was now a ninja? <sighs> okay. But I got all the pumpkins in this level, so that's good. Well. All things considered, this is shaping up better than my other hardcore playthrough. In my first one, I died twice to the eight pages and once in Into the Abyss. And this time, I died to Into the Abyss twice, and then I didn't die at all in the eight pages. But I guess we'll see how everything else goes. Is there a pumpkin in here also? I'm not even going to turn on my flashlight because I could just look for the gloss. And it doesn't. there doesn't seem to be any gloss. So, okay. I also, I also did try, um, like, in, in my other scrapped hardcore playthrough, I did also try going to the bear first. Charlie's teddy bear. Because I knew that that would... Because I knew that, like, in my normal playthrough, when I after I played through the memories level, it brought me straight to the to the building with the nightmare level. But this time it didn't, so I don't know. Got it. Cylindrical mystery in a cloak. At your taste buds I poke. Okay. Who wrote these poems? Oh, it didn't even say how many were left in this level. Does that mean that, like, that was the only one in this level? I guess so, okay. Well... Because the teddy bear's right here, let's do the memories level. I can't run! Okay. What the heck is that texture? What the heck is that texture for the tentacles? It looks so weird now. They got a texture going across them that makes it look like there's multiple holes that are moving along them. And that is weird. But I do like how they wobble now, because it makes them feel less like they're just fixed in place. Yeah, see, and I didn't get warped up there. Whatever. It feels less like they're fixed in the air as they're moving, and more like they're actually, like, part of a living thing. Okay, so are, so are you sure that there's, like, no pumpkins anywhere here? Like, there's none? Okay. I'm not too much of a fan of doing this level again because it is the level that I'm the most scared of. Okay, cutscene started and the encoding got overloaded. Yeah, see, these are the pictures. And there he is. There is Charlie. There is the little boy. Hello, you. Is he... closer than before? I can't, I can't tell if he's closer than he was before. Or if that's just part of an update. Here. What happens if I back up? Oh, I can't back up. Hi. I, w I, I tried to see if I could back up towards the door, but it wouldn't let me. There's like an invisible wall. I gotta make extra sure that I... Oh. Hold on. I don't think I read this one yet. Three children disappear from local town. Serial killer suspected. In a chilling turn of events, three children aged between 8 and 10 have mysteriously vanished from the peaceful community of Willowbrook. That's new. Unsettling evidence points to an abduction, and authorities fear the presence of a serial killer in the area. Local law enforcement is act actively investigating the case and urges residents to remain vigilant while they work to bring the missing children home safely. Yeah, that was a new- that's a new scrapbook item. I didn't get that before. So I was also, like, doing some theorizing in my mind about what this level means. Because it's a nightmare, I imagine this all takes place in in, in uh, Charles Matheson's head. It's all in his head. Thank you. 
A tailor's craft isn't my coat, but in fabric I seem to float. I'm not sure what that means. Four pumpkins, yeah, that's more like it. And I'm wondering if, like, the, the reason everything is so decrepit is because that it's kind of like a, a reflection of his mental state. And also because Charlie is, like, keeps popping up here and there. They aren't hallucinations caused by the Slender Man. In this case, because this, would, this decrepit hospital would represent his mind then then charlie haunting it would mean that like he's still got that memory of charlie and he can't let go of him and i also figured out that these things that went flying over there before i thought that it might have been something that i caused because i was really really close to it and they were physics based so then i compressed them and it caused them to get shot out there but no it's it's just an event that happens i i, I don't want yeah i know i know i know pumpkin is there a pumpkin around here? Yeah, there is! You better believe it. Not a burger, nor a rib, but at barbecues, I'm a hit. Are you? I wouldn't think so. Alright, so only two more pumpkins. Make that actually one more pumpkin. I am famous in New York streets where flavor and hustle meet. Okay. Oh no, now two pumpkins. I'm sorry. I thought there were four pumpkins on this level, but no, there are five. I completely forgot. It gave me the prompt for four. Uh, is there a pumpkin down here too? I see one. I see one glistening. I got you. Not quite a sausage, understand, but in their family I land. Okay. These are making less and less sense. And then the basement is probably the final location for the pumpkin. Something else, like, like, I, like, remember when I did this, my, my first playthrough in normal mode, I was like, I was like, Charlie's not in here with me, he's not following me. In essence, he actually does follow me, only at one point, and it's very, very briefly. So, like, like, when I walk up here and then he growls, then I turn around and you'll be able to see him crawling, but he's very slow, and I'm far enough away. That it won't actually, that he won't actually be able to catch up with me. Yeah, see, if I turn around, there he is. Look at you. Look at him coming at me. But that, that's a whole hefty nope for me, though. I hate that. And then, and then he just stops. He, he only has a moment there to catch me, but I'm not going to let him. There's my son. Nope. Uh, go, go, don't get caught. Ah, uh, my gosh, go. Oh. Ah, damn it. Hey, Slenderman. So now I'm in the basement, I believe. And the basement is where the final pumpkin is gonna be, I imagine. Probably gonna be right there on a the table, right? Hi, you. Okay. Uh, pumpkin lit. Oh. Well, I thought the final pumpkin was gonna be sitting right here, but apparently no. Um, okay. So I know I have to interact with this. And then it needs a key. There's gonna be, like, all these false keys around here. I can't even focus my flashlight. I'm wondering if this flashlight actually is powered by batteries or not. Because there is a scripted point in, in this in this level where the flashlight goes dead. Okay. So are you gonna make me, like, really, really scour this place to find the pumpkin? I hope not. Also, I... I, oh, thank you, it's right there. In a garden, I don't grow, but with salad, I may show. And, and also, there, there's a, there's one of those glowing messages up here, like, for purify, save your son, cleanse with fire. In the normal playthrough, I, I, for, I didn't see it, but then in the scrapped hardcore playthrough, I did see it. It says, end this. I said in the, in the scrapped hardcore playthrough that I think that this is actually just Slenderman tricking Charles Matheson. Like, he sees this as kind of like a sign from God or something, because this is supposed to be taking place in his mind. So he sees, so he sees that idea as kind of like a sign from God, but... And then he has faith in it, but no, it's actually a sign from Slenderman, and it's a trick. It's, it's a trick his victims into straight up killing themselves. So that their souls are his, or something, I don't know. And apparently, I believe there's only one... There's only one pumpkin 
in this flashback level. Because after I collected that one that was on the tree stump, it didn't give me a prompt that said there were any more pumpkins in this level. Which should mean that there is just the one. And if there is, then great! So, I, I'm, so like, my scrapped, I, my scrapped hardcore playthrough, I did show you guys the stats in that community post. So you'd know that I beat it faster than I did on normal mode. But here, I'm thinking that... I, I, here I'm thinking that like I'm taking even longer to beat it just because I'm wanting to be extra thorough on scouring for pumpkins. I'm still kicking myself for not finding the, the, the pumpkins in that uh in, in in the first in the first uh level prologue. Are there any pumpkins in the escape level? God I hope not. I hope not, because oh oh man. Are there gonna actually be pumpkins in the cellar for the homestead level? Please know as well. If there are, then please let there just be like one and let it be easy to find, please. Yeah, I swear. I don't know if it's because of like the the, the Halloween update or what, but like the quality, the it even said sniff. I don't know. If, I don't know if it's because of like the the quality of of this. Uh, Halloween update or something, but like it just took a nosedive. Open. These are all good. Last time I missed the window in this one, but this one's also good. And I'm just gonna assume that there's no pumpkins in this level because I kind of have to hurry. Right here. Nope, nope. Trick or treating has now turned off, buddy. I know that wasn't grammatically correct, but you know what I mean. Oh! I can die in this level? I didn't know I could die in that level. I think that's the first time I ever died. I mean, aside from stepping out into the rain because that's, because that's an instant death. You're supposed to stay in the house. But I didn't know I could actually die in this level. Okay, and the encoding gets overloaded every single time this the, this cutscene plays. Done. I'm gonna let that play. Okay. Up we go. Close it. There he is! I'm just gonna assume that there aren't any pumpkins on that level. I don't think the game designers would be that cruel to put pumpkins in that level because, like, you're not supposed to take your time in that level. You're supposed to be panicked and running around. Ugh, okay. Well, there's the final one. Hopefully once this Halloween update gets undone, ho like, aside from the cosmetic change for Slenderman, of course, if you unlock it, I hope that the quality picks up again because the quality seems weirdly blurred. And I don't know if it's because that there's a pumpkin. The date is September 19th. There's two pumpkins. CR on site of the Matheson family farm. Continuing my investigation in Charlie's disappearance. Let's see what we can turn up. I don't know. Like, given how there's two pumpkins right here, I don't know if that means there's going to be a heck of a lot to find. I hope not, though. Hello. Dressed in topping, so bold. A colorful story is told. Four pumpkins remain. Okay, well then there's another. A canvas of bread so wide where sauces and I collide. Okay. Now three pumpkins remain in this level. Coolio. I know I have to run through here in absolute freaking terror. And there's one to collect. At a fair and a common sight held by hands so tight. Okay. Two pumpkins remain. I just got three of the pumpkins before I even stepped into this rickety old shed. Somebody also did tell me. I don't remember who, but somebody did tell me that Slender, that not Slenderman, what am I saying? Charlie actually can kill you in the cellar if you're playing a hardcore mode. Because he played hardcore mode and he, and he said that like he can confirm that Charlie is able to kill you. But when I went through on my scrapped hardcore playthrough, Charlie 
didn't actually chase me down there. He still just stood in place. I didn't try to actually walk right into him because I imagine in that case, yeah, of course he'd kill you. But he didn't actually, like, chase after me down there, which I'm thankful for. I was hoping that, like, if he if he did became a threat in the cellar, I was hoping he wouldn't, he wouldn't, like, actually chase me around. He would still just stand idly. Well, there's the gasoline, but now I gotta search more thoroughly for the pumpkins. I'm actually sweating. I hate that cellar so freaking much. And the game designers know about how scary it is. Okay. Here we go, through here. Something that I did learn as well is that the, while the running animation here seems to be pretty much exactly the same, he actually... He, he actually, his head actually, like, turns to, to follow you while he runs. Even if he's running a complete opposite way from you, his head still turns to look at you. And I do like that. Add some extra spook factor. Okay. Now, is there going to be a pumpkin in here? I have no idea if a pumpkin's going to be in here or not. Probably not because it's so small. But I'm betting that there wasn't one in the cellar, and if there is one in the cellar, I'll get it later. Because I'm not going back in there. Hell no. Oh my gosh, I can't run anymore. My stamina! And got it. Okay. Now time to look around here. Is there a pumpkin around here? And I gotta go and look at every single little nook and cranny because I don't know if the- I- I don't know. I have no idea if the pumpkin is, like, just out of my render distance. So there doesn't seem to be one outside the chapel. It doesn't mean that there can't be one inside, though. Hello, Slenderman. Man, he glitches, like, no matter what. Okay. Uh... But, yeah, there's there's no pumpkin in the chapel. Oh, yes, yes there is. Gotcha. Relished by many, it's true. Embraced by buns anew. Okay. One pumpkins. Great grammar. And I'm guessing that last pumpkin is in the house. I really like how when he comes in, he actually is kind of like hunched over now. It makes him look more aggressive. Look at that. Look at that. God, his model looks better. His running animation is sadly exactly the same, though. Bye-bye. It's funny that, like... In, in um, one of my Slender the Arrival glitches, bugs, and funny moments, I, I did actually make a- I did actually, like, glitch all the way to, to this part of the level before going in there, while the door was still closed, and I pretended that I'm like, hey, trick or treat, and then I'd knock on the door, and then- and then Charlie ended up making those sounds. There it is! A tube stake, some might say, in a soft bed I lay. Sure. Okay, so I got- Oh, so, so I got almost all the- why do they specifically say faceless pumpkins? Is it because that there's also jack-o'-lanterns that exist? I don't know. And I win! Okay. So that's over and done with. Okay. Step outside, everything brightens up. Maybe there's gonna be a pumpkin in the cave or inside that building. I don't know. It says there's 23 pumpkins left, which should mean that there's, like, there should be, like, seven in the- n no, no. Six in this level. There should be six frickin' pumpkins in this level. Unless that there's also some in Genesis or something. I don't know. But I know that I missed one in the prologue levels, which means that there should be six more in here. Or who knows, maybe, like, once I get taken to the maths and basement, there'll- there'll also be a- there'll also be pumpkins in there. Okay. Uh, yep, that's something. Got you. Uh, look around. Down here. I'm not seeing any pumpkins down here, and I would have seen them because they're bright and orange. I thought- I thought- I thought I heard weird sounds over here. I like how you can see kind of like the red glow now and that it doesn't, it's not the case of like everything becomes red 
the moment you step. Okay, you'd better not have. Okay, well, you're there pretty early. Well, I'm dead. There, there were two different ways for me to go. One, oh. Hi there. <laughs> That's kind of spooky. I can get a good look at him here. Okay. Um, so there were two places to go. He was blocking one and the falling trees were blocking the other. So that was pretty much just a, a, a dead from the start. He should not be able to appear like right there that quickly. Like that is kind of BS. You gotta admit. And you better not have any pumpkins around here. No pumpkins, because because I'm obviously going to miss them, and that'll be unfair. Screw you. Uh, alright, let's try this way. You're going to crash on me? You better believe it. Okay, fine. Fine, I'll go this way then. I was able to get through this before without dying at all when I first played through it. On, on, uh, hardcore difficulty. Okay. Any pumpkins around? I'm not seeing anything flashing in my environment. Oh, hi. Okay, I'm going this way, then. I don't think this is the right way to go. I don't think. Cause, okay, okay, yeah, Slenderman's telling me it's not the right way to go. I'm glad that I'm not running out of stamina now, too. I was running out of stamina quickly before, but like now, no, I've, I've got some leg muscles. That is unfair! You can't do that, Slenderman. You can't just pop back and forth between the two correct paths. Pick one or pick none, okay? You can't, you can't just choose both and just idle between them. Okay, that, 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 that's good. There's probably already, like, a YouTube video that is, like, a walkthrough for all of the pumpkin locations, I'm betting. I would not be surprised. Okay, I made it. Okay, so there's gotta be a pumpkin in here, yes? There's gotta be a pumpkin, right? Because if not, where else could those last seven be? Nope, okay. Okay. Gotcha. New. Okay. Flashlight's gonna be gone. Let's see if I can. Oh, pumpkin right there! Got you, got you, got you! A carnivore's pencil, I seem, sketching flavors like a dream. Okay. Alright, is there a pumpkin here? There is not. Uh, got you. <sighs> I still can't hear that as running footsteps. It sounds like Slenderman laughing, I swear. Alright, so that was bad. Yes, trick or treat, you can come in. Want some candy? Here you go! <laughs> Yummy candy for you, Charlie. Okay, here I am. Here we go, there's a pumpkin in here, good. Mustard with flavor so bright in every bite there's delight. Thank you. One pumpkin? Oh, wait, what? Oh, hi. Tilting your head like a little goofy punk. Okay. Got this. Okay. So if there's only one... I don't know why everything brightens up like this, too. It's weird. So if there's only one pumpkin, then, like, what What about the other five? Where, where are they located? Are they in the Genesis level? Alright, well, the last pumpkin has got to be, uh... 
It, somewhere around up here, I guess. Frick, okay. Hi! Hey, you with your strong legs. Yeah, she doesn't look any different from her Unity self. She just looks like she got a texture upgrade. I, I at least like that they now gave, the, like, Lauren her own model here for the legs so that we can be sure that, like, yeah, it isn't Kate getting dragged off at the end. Because before they used Kate's model. But here they used a completely new model, so good! Okay, but I didn't get all the pumpkins. I think I missed five pumpkins. One of them was in the prologue level, and the other four, I have no idea. I don't know, but like, now that I played through it on hardcore difficulty, I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to normal mode, go back, and then I'm going to select prologue. I'm gonna try to get all the pumpkins. Because I don't like that I missed some. I don't like it, and I want to fix it. So let's do it. Let's do it. An edible baton and a race passing flavors with grace. There is one in here! Screw you! In a roll, I take my place, a symphony of tastes to face. Okay, so I just went into the Genesis level now. I just found a pumpkin, and now there's one pumpkin remaining in this level, which means that there's still one more that I don't have, and I'm guessing it's probably in the escape level of the main game. Oh, there's a pumpkin. I got it. I got you. In a costume, I'm encased, ready to be embraced. What the hell are those demonic Oh, there it is. There was! Neither purely meat nor bread in a mystical dance we tread. All right, it's available. I got it. I got Slenderman's Halloween costume. But now I've unlocked Slenderman's Halloween costume, so let's go ahead and turn it on, and then I'm going to go and play the Genesis level again on easy mode, because that's the best visual we'll get of him. Okay? So here we go. Man, I don't know what his Halloween costume's going to be, but I'm excited. I am so excited to see what this is going to be. There is so much suspense to it. They, they didn't tell us what the costume would be, nor did they even show a screenshot of what it looked like. So they wanted to keep it a surprise. Oh, oh, oh! Where? 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 Slenderman, please show yourself. Let me see you. Where is he? I don't see him. Let me get another page to make him more aggressive. Oh! <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, it's a costume. It's a hot dog. Aww. That's adorable. I love that. The developers are making this game better and better and better. But okay, now that I've got an adorable hot dog costume wearing Slendy Man going around. I should be all A-OK. -okay. Everything's coming up roses. You shouldn't be ashamed of that costume, Slenderman. I think it's beautiful. Oh! My camera's not glitching at all because I guess that the tree is blocking our path. That is so adorable. That is so freaking adorable. Look at that. It's a hot dog costume. It's so silly, but... It's awesome! Aw, oh, Slender Man. Oh, and he's gone. He's a shy boy. Hmm. Uh, so sorry, Hot Dog Man. Oh, I can't move. He caught me. Hey, you. He doesn't wear it for the death screen, though. Aw, oh, man. Okay, I give up. Well, that was fun while it lasted. So that is the Halloween update for Slender the Arrival. Again, if you like this game, if you like how it looks, then links in the description below for you to play it. It is a wonderful game, putting that back on normal mode, though. But yes, yeah, so I got all the pumpkins. Turns out there were some in the, in the Genesis level, and there was also one in the escape level that I completely missed because I was panicking too much. But man, I'm just loving this game more and more. I am so excited for when the other stuff about the game gets released eventually, which they said hopefully will be released before the second half of 2024. The compatibility with modding and the multiplayer and the third thing that I can't quite remember. I foresee it being a thing of me playing Slender the Arrival mods for my channel as kind of like 
another another series, quote unquote, because I've got that Monstrum Extended Settings mod, and then I do challenges that people issue me. That's a series that's still ongoing because there's still challenges I haven't done yet. And in here, I'm I'm guessing that once mods become a thing, you guys are probably going to be recommending certain mods for me to play. And of course, I'd love to play them because I love this game so dang much. <sighs> but that'll be where I end this episode off because I'm running out of things to say. And I'm just so happy that I got to see Slenderman in a hot dog costume. I feel like my life is complete now. So, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below if you did enjoy the video. Have a good day or night, depending on where you are in the world. And happy Halloween, everybody.